Personal Finance PowerPoint Presentation Indexed Universal Life Insurance IUL Prepare to get financially fit by practicing personal finance Insurance is part of our long-term risk mitigation strategy where we follow the adage of measure twice, cut once, putting a formal process in place, looking something like set the goal, develop a plan to reach them, put the plan in action, review the results, and repeat the process periodically. Most of this information can be found at Investopedia, indexed Universal Life Insurance IUL, which you can find online. Take a look at the references, resources, continue your research from there. This by Stephanie Powers, updated May 27. 2022 in prior presentations we've been looking at insurance in general now moving to the life insurance we looked at the two major categories of life insurance we always want to keep in mind the term or pure life insurance versus the permanent life insurance the universal life being in category two part of the permanent life insurance and i would always compare and contrast it to the pure or term life insurance looking at the adage often used by people that sell the term life insurance of invest in the term life or purchase term life and then invest the difference because the term is usually cheaper as you are purchasing just insurance and then if you're looking at more complex instruments asking the question why wouldn't i do that why wouldn't i take that adage what added complexity or what benefits am i trying to achieve with the more complex uh, life insurance structures such as tax strategies or or different kind of coverage strategies or estate planning strategies keeping that in mind what is universal life insurance so universal life that's the ul insurance comes in many different flavors from fixed rate models to variable ones where you select various equity accounts to invest in indexed universal life iul uh, insurance allows the owner to allocate cash value amounts to either a fixed or equity index account so now we've got this cash value component so you got this investment component to it and the index funds are like these average like kind of like the average types of funds when they're trying to get an idea of certain uh, account categories within the full stock market such as the s p 500 being a common type of index fund so possibly then having the ability to tie that kind of cash value that investment component to say an index fund giving you a little bit more flexibility so policies offer a variety of well-known indexes such as the nasdaq 100 and the s p 500 so the iul insurance policies are more volatile than fixed uls but they are less risky than the variable ul insurance policies because no money is invested in equity positions uh, the IUL insurance policies offer tax deferred tax accumulation for retirement while maintaining a death benefit. So now you got the investment component, which could have tax benefit components to it. But again, you would want to be asking the question of why wouldn't I buy the cheaper term policy possibly and then invest the difference in, say, like an IRA or, or a 401k plan where I could have kind of tax benefits as well. So you want to dig a little bit deeper in terms of what your exact goals are with relation to a more complex life insurance strategy. So people who need permanent life insurance protection but wish to take advantage of possible cash accumulation via an equity index might use IULs to as critical uh, person insurance for business owners, premium financing plans, or state planning vehicles. So IULs are considered advanced life insurance uh, products in that they can be challenging to adequately explain and understand. So clearly you've got more going on here. You've got the life insurance component, you've got kind, kind of an investment uh, type of component, and now you're tying that investment to uh, basically uh, this, a stock market or index kind of structure, which does add some levels of complication. And the only reason you want to add levels of complication instead of just buying simple term life insurance and then investing straightforward into the market is that if you had some more complex goals you're looking for, complex goals possibly for larger or more high income individuals, which could be more advanced tax planning strategies and possibly estates planning strategies. So how does indexed uh, universal life IUL insurance work. When you take out an index universal life insurance policy, your insurer will help you select the index to use for the cash value account part of your policy and your death benefit. When a premium is paid on the account, a portion pays the cost of insurance based on the insured's life. 
any fees are paid and the rest is added to the cash value. The total cash value is credited with interest based on increases in an equity index, but it is not directly invested in the stock market. If you own an indexed universal life policy, uh, you can likely borrow against the cash value uh, issued in the policy. So we talked about this cash value uh, in prior presentations with some of the permanent uh, life insurance and the possible possibility of borrowing against it in the event that you have kind of a, a need or emergency for it, which might give you a little bit more access to it than if it was locked under the umbrella of like a 401k plan or an IRA. However, if you do not pay back your loans, they are deducted from the death benefit. So some policy allow the policyholder to select multiple indexes. IULs usually offer a guaranteed minimum fixed interest rate and a choice of indexes. Policyholders can decide the percentage allocated to the fixed and indexed accounts. The selected index value is recorded at the beginning of the month and compared with the value at the end of the month. If the index increases during the month, the interest is added to the cash value. So in other words, they're kind of pegging it to the index, but your funds that are actually within the insurance policy are not actually invested in the market. They're basically using a system to try to peg the returns to, you know, to the, the uh, fluctuations in the market. So the index gains are credited back to the policy either on a monthly or an annual basis. Example of universal life insurance, IUL. For example, if the index gained 6% from the beginning of June to the end of June, the 6% is multiplied by the cash value. The resulting interest is added to the cash value. Some pos policies calculate the index gains on the sum of the changes for the period, while other policies take an average of the daily gains for a month. So no interest is credited to the cash account if the index goes down instead of up. The gains from the index are credited to the policy based on a percentage rate referred to as the participation rate. The rate is set by the insurance company and can be anywhere from 25% uh, to more than 100%. For example, if the gain is 6%, the participation rate is uh, 50% and the current cash value total is $10,000. $300 is added to the cash value. That's a uh, 6% times 50% times the $10,000. That's equaling the $300. The IUL policies typically credit the index interest to cash accumulations either once a year or once every five years. So what are the advantages and disadvantages of the index universal, the IUL insurance? Well, not for everyone, IUL insurance policies are a, very, are a variable option for people for permanent life insurance with a cash component that earns interest plus a death benefit. This type of life insurance is more expensive than, than term life insurance. So you always wanna be going back to that adage on the term, comparing to the term and investing the difference. Why are you not doing that? What added advantage are you getting? What are the goals you're looking for? Uh, but you get permanent coverage. That's one of the things you get the permanent coverage as opposed to the term coverage, although the term coverage can often coverage you for the term in your life that, uh, that you need the coverage for and death benefit paid to your beneficiaries when you die. The policy may even increase in value due to the cash value component and you may be able to borrow from your account. So advantages, there's a low price, the policy, the, the policy holder bears the risk so the premiums are low because if you're the policy holder that risk, if there's less risk to the insurance company then then that could lower the uh, the premiums as you're taking on more of the risk cash value accumulation amounts credited to the cash value grow tax deferred so you got that tax component to it which is nice but again you want to be comparing that to why don't i buy the term insurance where it might be cheaper and then invest into like a tax savings account like an ira or a 401k plan so that you would want to be comparing those options and seeing what your what your goals are the cash value can pay the insurance premiums allowing the policyholder to reduce or stop making out-of-pocket premium payments flexibility the policyholder controls the amount the amount risked in indexed accounts and the death benefit amounts can be adjusted as needed most iul insurance policies offer a host of optional riders from death benefit guarantees to no lapse guarantees death benefit 
This benefit is permanent, not subject to income or death taxes, and not required to go through probate. Less risk. The policy is not directly invested in the stock market, thus reducing risk. As a, so that's one kind of benefit, as opposed to if you took the money and invested in uh, uh, permanent or, or regular life insurance, term insurance, and invested the difference in the market, you might be taking on a little bit more risk. Although again, you'd also have more potential for gain because it's probably gonna have less fees as you, as you basically invest directly in the market. Easier distribution, the cash value in IUL insurance policies can be accessed at any time without penalty regardless of a person's age. Unlimited contribution, IUL insurance policies have no limitations on annual contributions. What are the disadvantages? Caps on accumulation percentages. Insurance companies sometimes set a maximum participation rate that is less than 100% better for large face amounts. Smaller face values don't offer much advantage over regular UL insurance policies based on equity index. If the index goes down, no interest is credited to the cash value. Some policies offer a low guaranteed rate over a longer period. Investment vehicles use market indexes as a benchmark for performance. Their goal is normally to outperform the index. With IUL, the goal is to profit from upward movements in the index is index universal life insurance iul a good investment i expect a yes or no answer here yes or no here we go an iul can be a good way to save money in a cash value account connected to a market index it may earn modest interest but it is first and foremost a life insurance policy not an investment vehicle you kind of you kind of evaded the question here i was expecting a yes or no there it looks like that's a it depends it's it depends answer can you lose money in an index universal life insurance policy an iul it is unlikely you will lose money in an iul because insurance agencies set a guarantee to your principal to protect it against losses in the market however there is often a cap on the maximum amount you can earn is index universal life insurance iul better than a 401k plan for most people no iul is not better than a 401k plan in terms of saving for retirement so this is when you always are going back to the old adage of why don't i buy just a term life insurance and then invest the difference possibly still getting some tax benefits such as putting it under the umbrella of a 401k plan an ira for example so oftentimes you'd, you you might be making out more from an investment standpoint to do that and then the question would be do you have some more complex strategy that is in play uh, other goals that you are seeking that make it more worthwhile to use these more complex life insurance instruments so most iuls are best for high net worth individuals looking for ways to reduce their taxable income so oftentimes you have more complex tax strategies taking place often necessary when income is uh, is higher a 401k is a better investment vehicle because it does usually come with the high fees and, and premiums of an IUL. So the IUL, in other words, is the one that typically has the high fees and premiums because it's a more complex kind of instrument that is taking place rather than just investing directly into the market, which is under the, just like an umbrella of a 401k plan or an IRA or something like that. Plus, there's not a cap on the amount you may earn, unlike an IUL policy. What are the cons of an indexed universal life and IUL? Indexed universal life policies have a cap set on how much money you can accumulate, often less than 100%, and they are based on an equity index. While you may not lose any money in the account, if the index goes down, you won't earn interest. If the market turns bullish, the earnings on your IUL will not be as high as a typical investment account. The high cost of premiums and fees make IULs expensive and considerably less affordable than term insurance term life. So is IUL better than whole life then? Not necessarily. IUL insurance policies have an investment element which can grow and earn interest connected to an equity index. Whole life insurance is a more straightforward form of permanent life insurance with a death benefit and cash value component that acts like a savings vehicle rather than an investment account.